The drama series Yumi Cells 2 has come to an end, and the two people who were once important to Yumi have become quite successful in their careers. One, Yumi's first season boyfriend, is now the president of a gaming company. Bobby, Yumi's boyfriend in the second season, got promoted in his marketing job and is relocating to Singapore. Let's also take a look at Wang and Bobby's stories at the end of the original Webtoon series. In the Webtoon series of Yumi Cells, Wang does not forget his ex-girlfriend Yumi for a long time, as he does in the drama version. When he goes to the bookstore to buy Yumi's book, he happens to meet a girl named Jenny. Jenny has a crush on Wang, and she eventually becomes his girlfriend. The readers assume Wang got married to Jenny because of his Instagram post. In the post, Wang is napping on the sofa with his daughter, who looks like Jenny. Furthermore, Wang's career became so successful that his company, Ku Wang Games, is publicly traded on the Nasdaq. The author of the Yumi Cell series, Lee dong -un, liked the character Wang so much that he created a new story, Daily Jojo, which takes place in Wang's company. What about Bobby's? At the end of the webtoon series, Bobby is dating Daun, who first appears as a part-time employee of Bobby's snack bar. There's a scene in the webtoon where Daun walks into a restaurant and runs into Yumi on the way. Daun then sits down and tells her boyfriend, Bobby, that she just saw Yumi. Bobby seems uninterested. Instead, he only cares about Daun getting a cold because of the rain. Another scene depicts Yumi's friend showing Yumi a wedding photograph of Bobby. Yumi looks at the picture of the bride in her wedding gown and recognizes that Bobby's bride is Daun. So, in the webtoon Yumi sells, Wang and Bobby are both successful in their careers and eventually marry someone. This concludes Wang and Bobby's stories.